All right, we are back. Welcome back to Bacon's Fictional Franchise. I'll be here for one game this afternoon. I'm thinking about doing one after work as well. So I do work from 3 o'clock until about 9 o'clock today. That's my, uh, my regular job. And, uh, and then I'm thinking I'll come back and play uh, again later tonight. So look for that notification. Uh, we are here. It is January 15th. It's noon central here in Milwaukee. We got our first home game on the stream with the Kings. We'll be playing against the Cincinnati Reds. I'm just going to check out their starting pitcher here. It's Alvin Sparks Jr. There he is, 67 overall. He's only 3-11 and on this season. Uh, not great. He's got a really high hits per nine and great stamina. Fastball gets to 95. Uh, and then the control is fine on both the fastballs. And then he's also got a sweeping curve and a changeup. Welcome. What's up, Bullet? Welcome, buddy. Um, just going to play one game today. It's the Kings at the or against the Reds. We're at home. Uh, so a quick look at the Reds. I traded Kyung Hee Lee there. If you play at the roster, you know all about him. Uh, the rest of the team looks fairly untouched as far as I can tell. They didn't get their big prospects up yet. Middlebrook is in the minors. Um, and uh, not that much for injuries. So we're going to jump right into it. The Atlanta Kings, we won the first game. So actually, I'll look at the schedule real quick. We're nearing the trade deadline. And I'll have a special episode on that, on when we, uh, what what decisions we make at the tra trade deadline with both teams, and uh, what direction I plan on going with uh, with both organizations. Thanks, Bullet. Appreciate it. Yeah, a lot of people who are wondering what the changes were, but uh, I made a lot of changes to the new roster. <laughs> did a did a lot of things. Um, Moving forward with that one, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, it's actually in the vault now. I'll go to that real quick, actually. Um, so here is the roster vault. I'll go to my vault. You can find it by searching Bacon. We're already at 30 downloads. That rating is only 75, so keep rating that up. Uh, get more downloads when it's a higher rating like that, and then here's the rest of them. But 30 in a day is fantastic. I like that. So we'll go to this franchise. Cool, and we'll go into the game now, very close to the trade deadline. We only have a couple more games with both teams before I have to make those big decisions. We get to play in Atlanta for this one. I kept Truist as the home stadium. Uh, I didn't really want to change anything in terms of that because you can't really aesthetically change the stadium anyways. So just like, fine, we'll just leave it in Atlanta, um, and that's, that's fine. Appreciate it, Bullet. Yeah, please do. We got Jalen Poole. Going again. I had him pitch in Oakland when we played that game on stream as well. Um, and it's Sparks, a right hander. I don't think I'm going to change anything then. This looks fine to me. Here we go. I mentioned before the A's game, that was the only one I lost with the Kings on stream. We're two and one. What's up, Cole? Welcome, buddy. Yeah. Good afternoon. It's a it's an early stream. I'm not <laughs> Uh, I'm glad that you're here. Um, I said at the top, uh, there's a chance I'll stream again uh, later on tonight. Uh, so look for that notification. I'm thinking I'm, I'm gonna, because I'm not going to be able to this weekend at all after tonight. But uh, I was thinking I'll play one now, and then we'll play another one uh, later tonight. So thanks for being here. Thanks for everyone who's being here. <clears throat> And of course, now I'm a Twitch affiliate, so the chat's going to be a little different. Um, I'm working on some improvements uh, that will come shortly, and uh, hopefully you guys uh, notice it appreciate the changes. But uh, we're now an affiliate, so i got to try to uh, make this a little more professional, huh? <laughs> Those Jalen Poole's numbers, they're terrible. Uh, strikeouts are good, though. You saw 63 in 48 innings. He's going to strike out a bunch of guys. Here's Kung Hee Lee. I traded him. I only had him for about maybe two weeks. And then I was like, I, I can't deal with a guy who has such low durability. I thought that it would be fine if I sat him every once in a while, every, every uh, you know, couple games. But it uh, didn't work out, so I got rid of him. And we'll take a look at his player card. 40 durability. 
fantastic player. Otherwise, just 40 durability, great defender, good right fielder. Um, he, he's a little more of a center fielder. He just is a right fielder, um, like a center field type, I mean. I did forget to mention, too, I made a, a bunch of clips yep, uh, last night uh, with highlights from the games we've played already, so check those out. Um, I'm probably going to compile those all into a video and make a uh, trailer for the channel. <clears throat> nice start right there. One up, one down. And a moment now to glance at the Reds lineup card in this one. Who are you focused on, Dan Pleasak? Well, Matt, I'm a bit worried about Appreciate the subscription, Cole. Thank you. I know a lot of people don't have <clears throat> about a game like that. In tier one as well. Welcome. Not a lot of Appreciate it. This guy right now. Maybe this <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure how Twitch works in general, so I know that's a good thing, uh, the, the subscription, but um, I'm not entirely sure what that entails, so uh, thanks for doing it. Just trying to get views, trying to get people to look at the roster and get some more downloads. That's really the, the point of this. Absolutely feasts off of left-handed pitching. Many right-handed hitters do better against southpaws, of course, but he's about as good as it gets <clears> in the opposite-handed type of matchup. Lying toward the gap in left center. That gets down and... Oh, come on, Ray. Rebus easily gets in the second. Yeah, thank you, Cole. <clears throat> I say thank you, you say thank you. We're all just mutually happy for this relationship. So here's Casey Lumpkin, probably the best player on the Reds. Uh, he's got two years before he leaves for free agency. Um, and he generally, I think he generally stays when I sim. It depends on um, how the Reds do. They usually are the better team in the, uh, in the central. What's up, Jake? Good to see you, buddy. And then thank you. Yeah, we're at affiliate now. Hope you're doing all right. I know you're quarantined right now. I was uh, watching some of your videos yesterday. Uh, hope you're doing all right. And yeah, we are at Twitch Affiliate. Got to that a couple days ago. I put up a roster yesterday uh, in celebration of it. So if you haven't grabbed that yet, go ahead and download it. Search Bacon or my PlayStation Network ID, which is CWEBS96. Use the roster that I am using. There's a few people who've already downloaded that and uh, posted on OS. Appreciate it. Yeah, Jake, great. Yeah, a bunch of improvements, lots more players, and then I did universal pitching edits. So a few guys are uh, really, uh, I tanked their overalls. So cool, appreciate it, Jake. Okay, one, two to Lumpkin. He's not as good against left handers, so I'm not as scared of him in the three spot. There it is. His was one of the faces I completely redid, too. He looks fantastic now. And Poole's going to strike out a lot of guys, at least. If nothing else, I'm going to get a bunch of strikeouts for him. Yes, sir. <clears throat> cool, so we got two outs. Fortenberry is a big contact hitting catcher. So he's not so much for power against lefties, but big time contact against righties and lefties. He's one of my favorite catchers on the roster. These reds I actually really like. In general, I really like the Reds team on the on the fictional roster. Um, and then he's a clogger because he, if you've got a contact guy that doesn't run, that's a, the prototype there is a, a clogger, like a base clogger. Again, thanks to everyone who's watching. Yeah, it's early today. I know it's only noon. Uh, I'm thinking I'll do another game later tonight, but we got one game now against Cincinnati. That second game would be a Spiders game tonight. And for that one, the Spiders will be playing the Royals. That's a home game in Cleveland. So join me tonight for that. And I shouldn't have thrown a change up. That should have been a slider. <sighs> Not a good start. <clears throat> yeah, that was a bad pitch selection. I should have gone with the slider there. Two strikes. 
<laughs> yeah, cool. We finally get to see the spiders at home and in, in game. Um, I think they're gonna look really good. I actually haven't done any games at home with them at all with those uniforms. I, I put them together like a month ago in in preparation for all this, and I never even played a game with them. But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how the cream looks at night. I'm excited to see how the cream looks in Cleveland. Um, and of course, we got the home whites here for Atlanta. This is the first time they're being shown in a game as well. Uh, I, did, I, I mean, I just think I did a really good job with the uniforms in general. Like mostly thanks to Kasabi who made the logos, but the uniforms look good. We're, we're on point here. We'll change up down here. Yeah, he's not going anywhere. Max Taylor's another guy that I really like. That nice little single with eyes. He's a center fielder for the Reds. Um, I have thought about uh, if I do do a trade. Thought about Paul Keys to these Reds, and then I get Max Taylor, and I could probably actually get two A prospects as well, or some major league contributors instead, if that's what I want. But we'll see. I'm not entirely sure where he's going to go, if he's going to stay, what we're going to do with that. So, we'll see. Ooh, as Rocco gets to that one, easy. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Here's Alvin Sparks. I'll move my face real fast. There he is. Not good numbers for the Reds' right-hander. He's more of a long reliever than he is a starter. Uh, but they have in the rotation now. They must have an injury that I didn't notice. So here we go. We should get a few runs off of Sparks. That's the expectation here. Four seam, sweeping curve, change up, and a two seam. It's going to be a fast fastball, a 96, 97. He can, he can probably touch 97. Again, thanks for being here. I'm Bacon96. This is Bacon's fictional roster, and I'm running a franchise, a two team franchise with the Kings in Atlanta. And the Spiders in Cleveland. Thanks for being here. Reds are second in the Central. Must be the Pirates ahead of them then. Pirates I really like too. Yeah, Maddie, this team has been playing really well right now. And and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another one nothing lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on attack, early offensive, almost ambush like approaches to their at bats, and it's working for them. Not a good pitch to swing at. Why do I swing at the high ones? I'm gonna need to see a better game plan out of the hitter right here. That ball was at his eyes. Still two and two. Again, thanks for being here. Go ahead and say hi in the chat if you haven't already. The pitch. And that's taken high. Just high. He is, yeah, JC Ray is he I said it before, he seems like one of the guys that you don't want to play against. But you love it when he's on your team. And I don't love popping up low fastballs. But yeah, I tried to make variation in terms of in terms of center fielders. So some guys just are you know guys that are going to get to the balls in the gap, and JC Ray is definitely one of them. Tried to make every single player type, every single type of. We probably got a slow type of uh, player with with the attributes that are given to us. We still need like a pitch framing attribute or a game calling attribute for catchers. Um, that would that would add a lot more immersion. Like if they give you bad ideas for, for what pitches to throw, um, or you know have that make a little more impact on uh, which pitches are called strikes and balls when you're playing with uh, personalized umps, something like that. Fujita was a first-round pick. All right, and he's turned out great. Hit on the ground, down I'm the not gonna get through. Take it to the bag we are in the National League for this game, so no DH. Worry about that more in the third inning, or hopefully the second if we get that far. Here's Parker. 
you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. First pitch coming, here it is. Parker's one of the few catchers that bats third. He didn't do that too often where, you know, you have a dominant catcher. That's kind of accurate. So how many catchers batted third in the majors this year? Real Muto? I don't even know if he did. You're going to have a much better time doing that if you attack hitters from the get-go. Now that's popped up. Rivas is there for it. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the season. <laughs> Not a good start to this one. Widely here in this half inning. On now to the top half of inning number two. Reds out in front, one to nothing. Into the box now. Luke. Again, thanks for being here. If you're not following me on Twitter, please do it. Bacon's Fictional. No spaces, no apostrophes. Bacon S. Fictional. Here's Luke Blanks. I redid his face. I'll show that in a replay real quick. Just completely redid his beard. Um, that was kind of a focus on this update as well, was was redoing beards. Because I feel like I did facial hair kind of weird. And now, now it's done a little bit. Better. So here's Blank's face. There you go. And he's got a new beard. He didn't have a beard before. He does now. And his equipment just looks better, too. That was an update that I did as well. Third baseman for the Reds, Luke Blanks. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. <clears throat> Fouled away. Sinker. Oh, come on, just off the plate. <laughs> there we go. A little slider now. Didn't throw it before in a strikeout situation. Now it should. Yes, sir. Pool's just going to strike out so many guys. Like, that's that's just his game. Is You just don't want him to put it in play at all. Because when they hit it, they're going to hit it hard. Here's Casey Quick. He's not fast, he's just quick. Second baseman for the Reds. That's 0 2. Let's do a slider again. Get that slider down, right? Try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. <clears throat> yeah, that's the spot right there. Cole, who's your favorite player on the roster? Make him see if he'll chase that slider in the dirt. Don't say JC Ray. Now a change up, but it misses just a little below the zone. Man, this head bat has changed quickly from 0 and 2 now to 2 and 2. Oh, come on, Casey. You gotta swing at something, right? It's for sinker then. Just try to get him to play, right? I missed badly. Poole has no control. Really difficult guy to guy to pitch with. Here's Sparks. Does he hit decent against lefties? He must because he's trying to swing away here. Oh yeah, 65 power. All right. Yeah, pay attention to uh, pitchers hitting because uh, 35 contact, 65 power doesn't mean I'm or means I'm not gonna. Be able to throw fastballs right down the plate, right? Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And he fouls this one off. <laughs> no good change up. Most pitchers have low vision at the plate. That's done very intentionally as well. Stepping up to the plate. Lee. Over one here in the early. It's Young Yi Lee. From the stretch. And it's fouled away. Yep, we traded him. Nice, nice little nugget right there in the bottom right. Trade him to the Reds. Looking good for both teams right now. Lee's got like a six-year contract too, so he sticks around with whatever team he's on for a while. Which usually is the Braves. Of course, I didn't want him on my Kings, so I moved him. <clears throat> okay. 
Oh, Mayfield. Yeah, that's a that's a good option right there too. One of the best right-handed bats in the roster, uh, and then he should easily be a 40-40 guy. Easily should be a 40-40 guy his first season. Um, if not the first one, then probably the second one. And if not the second one, then maybe the third one. Mayfield is he's insane. Yeah, and then Oakland actually is one of my favorite teams too. Um, lots of depth, lots of platoon options, and their bullpen's okay. I'm not a big fan of the prospects that I put on Oakland, but, you know, I can't make the perfect team, right? Otherwise, I'd only play with Oakland. But yeah, and they don't even always win the West. It sometimes is, uh, is Seattle. I like Seattle a lot, too. A lot of big prospects for Seattle, too. Here comes the three and one. Oh, not even close. That was ball four. Yeah, it was. Now the payoff pitch home. And, he takes and that's ball four as well. I'll take it. Well, there's only a one run cushion to play with, so he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here. Go ahead. I mean, if you're going to walk somebody, walk the guy who uh, has hit the most home runs for me, right? Very interesting inning. He's cooked, though. Had a big three-run home run when we played against Washington. <clears throat> yeah, J.J. Lewis, nice. That's a good one, too. Seattle's got two good first basemen because they always have one of them DHing. Um, the other one's Gilmore in the new roster. Uh, yeah, kicks your butt. Yeah, that's one of the guys, again, where he just does so well against you, you'd rather have him on your team, right? I like J.J. Lewis a lot, too. He's a, he's a good first baseman. Not for the bubble gum. Bubble gum, bubble gum card right there. Cook's got big power, though, so i got to swing. I'm late on the fastball still. I shouldn't be very late on 95. Sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. <clears throat> okay, Chip Wolf, favorite pitcher. I nerfed him a bit in the next update, um, so he's no longer a 99. He's he's got to be more like a 93, 94. But yeah, he straight from the 90s. Just a powerful left-handed pitcher for the Twins, and they have two of them, two good left-handers on that team. Kev Barry being the second one. There's a full count though. Back to back full counts here. And he this one off. It's hoping the curveball wouldn't drop. You know, the ones that just stay up like that. That one came down in the zone, so I had to swing. Another fastball. I'm uncomfortable by how fast the fastball is. It shouldn't be like I shouldn't be late on it. And that one's down. Back-to-back -back walks to start the second. Who needs hits when you got walks? All about getting on base, right? Here's Aguilera. Big time power. Not great the last eight games. Only six hits. He does have 13 home runs. I believe that's second on our team. Well, Swartz just isn't throwing strikes. <laughs> right, Cole? Yeah, no, I was saying before, I like the Reds and the Pirates, and I'm a, I'm a Brewers fan, so I had to I had to make someone good in the NL Central, right? I didn't want to make the Brewers great. I didn't want to make the Cubs or Cardinals good, so boom, Reds and Pirates. <laughs> yeah, the Rangers are no slouch either. That's a good team for a franchise on, on Bacon's fictional roster. Again, that's what we're playing with here. Bacon's fictional roster. I am Bacon96. 2-1 here from Sparks. He hasn't been throwing much for strikes. That one was right on the edge. That one's off the plate. <clears throat> Chuck Souza's next. <sighs> oh. No way that drops either. Nope. Gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Okay, here's how the Reds the Red defense. 
And if you look at the numbers on this team, defensively, <clears throat> they're in the top five. Fewest 99 team fielding percentage. They got Brenner and left. Brenner's very good defensively. They got a really good defensive outfield. Yeah, the farm isn't great for the Rangers uh, for, for this roster. Again, that's intentional. There's a lot of teams that just don't have good uh, like farm teams. Uh, I, I just think that there's so many... There's so many more A's in the live roster than there should be, so this is a little more true to true to life. And then it it really helps the trade logic if you don't have a bunch of guys with A's. If your your major league players all are C kind of guys or like B's. Oh, and then there just aren't as many, you know, really good farm systems. I made the Diamondbacks really good the next update. Check that out. Really good farm, that is. The Diamondbacks are one of the worst teams in the majors, but have one of the better farms. Giants pitching is definitely the best, yeah. Yeah, I had to make uh, their main starter, that's Tadehiko, or Tadehito Tatsuku. Um, I made him a couple years older, so he's going to fall off in the middle of his contract now. So the Giants don't have as... As long of a, a reign in the NL West. Hopefully the Rockies take it. The Rockies are probably my favorite team in the NL West. I'm swinging at balls here. He, all he's doing is throwing balls and I still keep swinging at him. Nothing. No way I can advance on that. Which West, the NL or the AL West? Because the, the AL West is probably the best division. There's probably three teams that could win now, especially since the Angels are decent now with uh, the addition of Fuentes. Uh, and then the NL West, yeah, I tried to make the Dodgers worse because the Dodgers are a juggernaut right now. Yeah, the AL West, yeah, the AL West, again, probably the best division. And then the Astros aren't great, great. But yeah, you had to have one division that was really good, right? And that just happened to be the AL West. Not entirely intentional, but I, I just made a lot of players that I really liked there. There's there's probably three good catchers in the AL West too, right? Tyler Hardy on the Rangers, and then I just talked about Fuentes, and then the Mariners catcher is, uh, oh, why can't I think of his name? He's a free agent after year one. Um... Wow, I don't remember it. Um, but he's fantastic, too. Mariners, Rangers, and Angels catchers are all really good. And the Astros catcher even hits for power, too. That's Max Slade. But, uh, yeah, one of the divisions had to be good. So, yeah, it just happened to be the AL West. 2-2. Got to get a run here. This is probably the pitch. He doesn't want to go full count. As the Rockwell's decent against right-handers. Nowhere close to it. So I had back to back walks to start the inning, but then nothing else. Not a good inning. <clears throat> Made him throw a bunch of pitches at least. Got close to walking Souza. Not great though. Top of the third set to get underway. And next to battle be the first baseman, Dario Rivas. Hardy and hitter for Texas. My goodness, they kill me. Yeah, hitter is king hitter. That is is uh. That like I mean, I tried to make him an overpowered power bat, and he really is. He kills me in my in my blackjacks franchise. Um, he was on one of the rival teams. I think he led the league. He led the national league in home runs. But uh, and then Hardy too. Hardy's one of the better offensive catchers for sure too. And that Tyler Hardy, he has a brother named Grady Hardy who plays for the Red Sox in the minors. I give him the same batting stance. Their face is really similar. Tyler and Grady Hardy. This one is going to be out, isn't it? Yeah, it is. So here it is. Dario Rivas is killing me. He had a double in the first, and now he's got a home run here in the third. So a solo shot here in the left center field. Yeah, not good. Lead. 
Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. He's just high. 396 left center field. Majestic home run. Yeah, Cole, sometimes they uh they make you know who they are. <laughs> that makes sense. Like King Hitter is one of the guys who who uh announces his presence with his bat. But uh, yeah, knowing nothing about the players has gotta be the biggest appeal for a lot of people. No preconceived notions, nothing you don't know anything about any player. Grounder down the line at third. Nice play over there, Chuck Souza. Yeah, that was two steps, though, wasn't it? Where's Where's Raider? <clears throat> nice defense there, Chuck. Stepping into the box. Fortenberry, one run in and one gone so far this inning. A ball of no strikes. Fort Mary's got a seven game hitting streak. He already extended that, so let's not give up another one. I had a bunch of long hitting streaks with him, too. He was on my Blackjacks team. Or is on my Blackjacks team. I still got that franchise going. Nice play, Fujita. And on a 2 0 pitch, he hits a line drive to one of my defenders. Now the plate, Max Taylor. He reached on a single in his first try. Hard hit ball to second. Nice. Give up the run, but it still was a fairly quick inning. Who's thrown 46 pitches through three? One for the Reds in the inning, and it comes courtesy of this solo home run. He played two and a half. Two nothing Cincinnati. Got to get something going. I got the pitchers starting off. Galen Poole. And then Poole's actually a really good hitting pitcher. More so against left-handers. But I didn't give too many pitchers hitting attributes above, let's say, like 25. And he has three of his four hitting attributes over that. Vision's even decent, 34. Again, decent for a pitcher. Most pitchers are going to have zero to five for their vision. What's up? This is... Raf guy, yes, I will bring home the bacon. Glad to see your stream yesterday, buddy. Did you get any new world records? Or were you trying for new world records? I don't even know. I I was uh, watching it on mute. If I'm being honest. <laughs> Stepping in and ready for another shot, JC Ray. Really good attempt. Okay. Wow. Made it to lap three. Uh, I was telling my, uh, I was watching at work actually. I was telling my uh, co worker about how many world records you have, and he was like, no way. I don't believe any of that. But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy Mario Kart, check out uh, my buddy MK Wee Freak, or Raf Guy, or Caleb, or whatever he's calling himself. I try to watch his videos as often as possible as well. Come on, JC, two strikes. Oh, you only have one now? What? <laughs> you had more than one before, though. Oh, uh, nothing doing for Ray there. It's going to be another wasted inning here, the third. You've had more than one before, though, right? It's still more than I have. So stepping in, Elijah Fujita. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Down the left <sighs> line and deep. And oh, people got good? Yeah, when a game is out for more than a couple of years, people start to play it more. And then they eventually just get really good because they've played it so much. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. <laughs> Come on, Fujita. Of course I swung at that. He's not even throwing strikes, and I'm still swinging at most of these. Hey, the fish ain't biting there on that O2 breaking ball, but you got a swing and a miss that retires the side. Three straight curveballs, and I couldn't do anything with them.
Still don't have a hit against Sparks. That's embarrassing. I should be getting hits against him. Matt, I had a chance to talk about the state of the Reds' offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. No way. You've definitely seen this shirt, Caleb. This is the Bacon Makes It Better shirt. This is the one I should probably wear on stream every stream, though, huh? Evan Renner. And yeah, go ahead and ask. Make, bacon does make it better. <clears throat> bacon cheeseburger? Better than a cheeseburger. Everyone knows that. I can provide more examples if people want it. It's Brenner. Brenner plays great against left-handed pitching. And he's a good defender. Probably best for left field or center field. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the oh, all right, yeah. <laughs> well, it, it does say bacon on your notification, so when you get that, you know you know who's bringing home the bacon. From the belt, the pitch. Nowhere close to it. Might not be doing it today, though. Down 2 nothing early, not hitting their starter. This is a double play ball, though. Get there, Mezzarocco. Nice play. Love it. Nothing like a 4-3 double play, just like that. It really helps. And then if I get quick here, then their pitcher will have to lead off the fifth. <clears throat> I will also be bringing home the bacon later tonight. Uh, planning on streaming tonight, it'll be bacon after dark. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Two runs, five hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Do that slider down. It's one, two. Waste a pitch if he doesn't swing at it. It's fine. He didn't. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a That'll do. I didn't need a strikeout. Right there. Fight for another pitch. Sure, you guys have noticed I'm not a big strikeout pitcher either. Even with guys who are big time strikeout guys, I, I don't seem to get too many strikeouts. Oh, yeah, late night bacon. There's nothing wrong with the late night snack that will be bacon after dark. So, this will be a rare day where I stream twice. Um, again, I'm just, I just feel like I'm, I can do more than just the one now, but I, I'm kind of restricted with uh, my actual life. Getting in the way, right? Parker has 13 home runs. That's third on our team. Would love to hit one. No, oh, nowhere near it. Keep going after that curveball, and it's not a good pitch to try to hit. Such a good confidence to it. Too, right? Yeah, really high confidence with the curve. And then now I'm thinking about that. <clears throat> Just got to lay off the curveball. It's not a strike. It's going to lay off of it. Caleb, are you going to stream again today? Fastball. Not on it. <clears throat> nice. Okay. Cool. I'll try to. I'll try to be there for that. Again, I have some time to watch at work, but not consistently, and probably not with the audio on. Almost swung at that. Wow. At least he's thrown a bunch of pitches. 63 and uh, before he's finished the fourth. And I'm swinging at balls here all over the place. Are you at work now then? If anyone else is at work, proud of you. Thanks for watching me while you're at work. Yeah. Yeah, I knew it. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful. 
and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch. Oh, I'm just, I can't seem to get a hold of any of them. That looked better than it was. Curveball down. He must have more movement than I thought. And then that one's away. It's another full count. That's 68 pitches now. And that's down. Let's go. That's another walk. Was that three walks now? I think it's three walks. Welcome again, anyone watching. Appreciate for, appreciate you for being here. This is Bacon's fictional roster. I am Bacon96. We are playing as the Atlanta Kings here in Atlanta. It's the Cincinnati Reds. From the stretch, here's the pitch. I do play with the PCI uh, off. It's on. Uh, you just can't see it. So this is zone. Yeah, so it, um, there's a slider for that, Caleb. Uh, I know you don't have the game, so. But, um, but yeah, it's realistic uh, with, with real life. It's a little bit, uh, you know, baseball now has kind of gone in the way where pitchers won't exactly work too much past the fifth inning, starting pitchers, that is. Uh, and Bacon's fictional roster kind of is more traditional where starters will go a little further into the game. And there's a slider for that where you can adjust uh, how early you want the managers to pull them or how much stamina they have, if you want it to be realistic or not. And those numbers have been debated uh, by the slider experts on MLB The Show. Oh, nowhere near the – he's not even throwing it hard now. Still green energy, okay. Got another full count. Let's go. Cook had a full count his first time up, too. I walked with him. Hoping for a fastball here. Give me something down the plate. Yes. Ah! Yeah, PCI placement is not good. Uh, Caleb, again, or anyone else who doesn't have the game, the PCI is the bottom left right here. It shows where I put the stick. Um, and you got to have it be on the pitch to make contact. And good contact results in... You know, good hit. I know a lot of people who are watching uh, play the game, so it, um, that description isn't entirely necessary for everyone. What's up, Ramjet? Welcome. Gave up two runs early in this one. Still don't have my first hit here in the fourth. Thanks for being here. We are now at Twitch Affiliate as well. So there is a new roster in the vault. That's the roster I'm playing with here. Bacon stream roster. You can find it by searching Bacon. To the plate now, Jorge Aguilera, and he fouls this one off. <clears throat> and I'm working on improving the stream soon, so it'll be a little different uh, moving forward. <sighs> Bad PCI placement on that one. And it's fouled away. Good stuff. Good to hear, Ramjet. Yeah, make sure you uh, you rate. Uh, say that you like it in the vault. That helps me a lot. And, oh, this one's Get the second there, Franklin, up. easily. And now we just need a single. Single brings in a run. <clears throat> One-two pitch. He's got to be throwing another curveball, right? That's all he goes to. That was the curveball. No swing. It's ball two. Two two. Good time for my first hit. Come on, right now, Aguilera. Right here. Even at two balls and two strikes. Oh! And the 29th pitch of the inning is swung on and missed, and that'll finally end it. So those are back-to-back -back big pitch innings. So I'm guessing they'll at least think about. Pinch hitting, but probably not because he doesn't. Oh, he did! Wow! He didn't even give up a hit! <clears throat> That's nuts. He has a no hitter through four innings, and they pinch hit for him. <clears throat> yeah, Ramjet. Uh, I did add. Um, I did add Will Bell. Didn't I add somebody else? A lot of bullpens got nerfed. Um, I just I, I did universal pitching edits for the new roster. 
So there's a lot of guys who were like a high 90 who's a low 90. There's a few guys who were high 80s who are high 70s or low 80s now. And, and a lot of guys who were in the high 70s or low 70s or even the high 60s now. And that's still useful. But uh, but there were some uh, some major adjustments made to some bullpens, to say the least. No chance. Nice play there by Souza. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. <clears throat> Again, those edits were universal. Some time to make some big adjustments. I did give a lot of players more uh, potential in exchange, so the younger players will still get better. Um, the older players, not as much. You're in Pewaukee. Nice. That's cool. I got a bunch of family in Pewaukee, actually. Uh, I'm in Shorewood. Probably shouldn't be too specific about my location, though, huh? <clears throat> but uh, I go to UWM. I'll be a, or I am a senior now. Graduating in the spring. If it ever comes. Oh, nice to hear you're so close. I know I have a couple other fans that are in the Milwaukee area, so thanks to you as well. Two runs, five hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Rivas killed me. He's got two hits already. That was not a good pitch to throw there. I'm just nowhere near the meter. Yeah, Ramjet, in exchange... In exchange, I at least added a few uh, a few good minor leaguers for the Brewers. Uh, they have a new pitcher named Dan Hatfield, who's almost major league ready. Um, again, I'm trying not to be too biased towards the Brewers, so it's more of like a they'll, they'll get some good prospects, but they're not entirely going to uh, you know become a powerhouse ever. And then the first baseman's, uh, I believe that's Trowbridge. He's a great defender. He's defensive ready already, but then the, the bat's a little bit behind. But yeah, lots of interesting minor leaguers. I, I mean, I. I like the minor leaguers in this roster more than the major leaguers at times. Oh. Here's Cameron Short. He's not that short. And I got to think about pinch hitting now, too. Poole's gone five innings, giving up two runs. I'll probably go, what is it, down two? Let me start with that before then. I'm going to have to pinch hit if I get a runner on. This is 7 8 9 for me. <laughs> We're near the changeup. Uh, no, the, the Mitchell in the minors actually has been on the fictional roster longer than I've known of. Uh, the Mitchell that was drafted by the Brewers. Is that Garrett Mitch Garrett Mitchell was the first rounder, yeah. Chase Mitchell's the third baseman on the fictional roster. And again, yeah, he's been on it since I think since year one. I think he's been on it since year one. So ooh. hate it. The perfect perfects right two infielders are the worst perfect perfects. But uh no, Chase Mitchell's been around longer than I've known of Garrett Mitchell. <clears throat> yeah, oof indeed. I'm late on 93. It should not be late on 93. Azaraco is Nicaraguan. Not many players from Nicaragua on the roster. This is our first hit, isn't it? Yes, sir. You got to dive for that one, Max. It would have. It would have gone. It would have smoked him. Uh, I did see the future. Yeah, I knew they'd eventually have a top prospect named Mitchell. Yep. I'd like to believe that. Definitely not the case. Uh, who am I pinch hitting for or with? Should I take out pool here? Five innings? It's a two-run game. I have a chance to score a run or I can bunt with him here. I could also probably try to steal a base with Mazzarocco. Probably not the best strategy. But I don't really have much for the bench. 
I think I want to go with Salazar if I pinch hit at all. Yeah, let's do that. Ari Salazar seems to be a glitch pinch hitting and as a right as a left-handed hitter. He was great in The Sims too. I thought about it actually. So, uh, pools a. You know, you, you think every player is going to regress to the mean? Well, he's going to progress to the mean. He's going <laughs> to he's going to do decent enough where he's a, he's an average pitcher moving forward. And he was good today. Five innings, give up two runs. Uh, I'll think about Jasper in the future. That's for sure. Salazar's two for his last three. It's over three pinch hitting appearances, including one hit with me or when I was playing with him. <clears throat> Not going to I don't like swinging when they do a slide step. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. This is a pitcher I should score off of. Set to deliver on two and one. Oh, come on. Two balls and two strikes. <laughs> two two pitch to Salazar. The two two. Swing line. Let's go. He launched it. This is in the gap. Let's go! Ari Salazar with a big time double. That's going to score our first run. It's our second hit. Like I said, he seems to be a glitch as a left handed batter. Yes. Yes! <laughs> he, uh, he turned the corner and turned on the Jets right there for our first run. And now the tying run is Ari Salazar standing at second base with the top of the lineup here. It's exciting to finally get on the board, right? And then, of course, he throws a changeup. I'll always swing at a first pitch changeup after a big hit because I'm just pumped. Nothing there. Okay. Good timing. Bad piece of placement. But we'll take it. Now we just need a single to score another. Use Fujita. Still over 300. His OPS is at 930. For people who don't know, that's fantastic. 930 OPS is really good. Especially for a rookie. I'm not going to score on that. No way with 65 speed. <clears throat> Fujita was the June Rookie of the Month. Oh. <laughs> Love this one run game. That's really what I want every stream, if I'm being honest. I'd want to win by one run every game. Or lose by one run every game. At least just have a one run game every time. <clears throat> Didn't get that one, though. But Salazar with a big pinch hit double, He's showing it right now. It's beautiful. Again, thanks for being here. Uh, this is Bacon's Fictional Roster. I'm going to put in Betancourt. Yeah, uh, Ramjet, make sure you look at each of the individual pitches, too. I don't like how the game rates uh, each of those individually. The the break is just based off of their first or any breaking ball. Heyo, Showtime22, you are the newest follower. Thanks for joining us. Um, but yeah, so Yakuyama, um, in his case, I think he actually is good, but he doesn't exactly have maxed out break. It's just good break for a couple pitches. And then control is an average of all the pitches, so that's... That's good. That's how it should be, in my opinion. And then velocity is just based off of the fastest fastball. So if you have like a... Oh, come on. But going back to what I was saying, if you have like a 99 velocity sinker, then the sinker is only going to be in the mid-80s. And then the fastball can be around the mid-80s too. But then the player card says he has max velocity. So make sure you look at the actual pitches as well as just the player card. It's a good start, but always look at 
the actual pitchy still. Yeah, I don't like that. That was first pitch too, right? He's gonna have to hit the reset button pronto. Outfielders didn't even move. Love it. All right. Here's Fortenberry. Again, thanks for being here. Hopefully I don't give up another big time home run. There's already been two of those today. Or the Reds, two of their three runs from home runs. Tempting with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Fouled away. <clears throat> that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0 2 count. A swing and a high. That's in the gap. Come on, get there, JC. Let's go. He got there easy. Easily. So for center fielders, I kind of focus on reaction more than. The actual fielding attribute, because the reaction is your range. I think that's pretty well known that it's, it's your first step range. So that's the attribute that you should be looking at more than fielding, at least in my opinion. Because I'd rather have him get to the ball and have a chance at catching it than not get to the ball and not have a chance at catching it, if that makes sense. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Right fielder is on the Love run. It. He tracks it down and makes the <clears throat> play to record the second out. He's Brenner. Should actually show his card too. He's a yeah. He's oh wow. He's a high seventy. His morale must be up then. Um, good defensive center fielder. They have him in left today, and he's just a platoon bat. I would not. Play him against right-handed pitching. Uh, I think that's obvious. Uh, but good defender. He's a good like late inning guy. If you want to have him come in uh, for defense, but a fourth outfielder, not a not a starting center fielder in my mind. I did have him on my Blackjacks franchise too. I should show that on stream at some point, huh? Since I keep talking about it. But uh, again, not really a threat against right-handed pitching. And when I say that, he gets knocked. All right. And the inning continues. Guys, that jacks me up right there. Kept his front shoulder tough. The hip tough. He was able to stay inside that slider and drive it the other way. At the plate, Luke Blank. Oh, I didn't even know he was going. That's embarrassing. That's what happens when you play with the sound off, huh? And runner windows off. <laughs> <clears throat> I should have expected Brenner to be going too. Can't get him to chase. It's one and two. One two. <laughs> Pulls this one in the air out to left. Cook is there. And Thanks, Ramjet. Yeah, it it takes time to get the names. Um, I've used some generators, and then, of course, the audio that's built in within the game is kind of like the base that I use. But then, like, I'll, you know, watch a TV show or just think of something, and that's a name then, you know. But, uh, yeah, Super Mega Baseball does a good job as well with creative names. But uh, for me, at least, it's, it's based off of the audio. So I want, like, at least for impact players for the most part, I want them to be able to say the names uh, just because it helps with immersion. I wish there was a bigger audio bank or, you know, if we could request names to Sony. Yeah, left, Lefty Wright's actually one of my favorite names in the roster. He's one of my favorite players. Good defensive first baseman, hits really well against right-handers. I had him on the Rays a couple of years ago. One of my franchises that I ran. I've tried to do one every year. It doesn't always work out to me being able to play a bunch of games, but is this one out? It is! Let's go! It had been a bit. <clears throat> Chase Parker with his 14th home run. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the audio with the names is uh is preferred. Yeah, 
We get the run back right there. Their three hitter hit a home run. Our three hitter hits a home run. I didn't think it was out. The way he stood at the wall, I just thought he was going to catch it. Sometimes they, they do have the animation like that where he just like stands at the wall and he puts up his glove at the last second and boom. And then that's an out. But that one was just over his head. Here's Franklin. I've walked twice with him. Actually, I'm kind of curious now. I do just have the three walks. So Cook had the other walk in the second. And then Franklin walked in the second and fourth. I don't necessarily try to walk. It just kind of happens. <clears throat> Can't even like try to walk. If you, if you try, you're just going to strike out a bunch. And I also strike out a bunch, to be honest. Especially online, I strike out so much online. Two balls and two strikes now. Two and two Franklin. And I didn't think that was on the plate. All right. I'm not quite sure how that strikeout will be scored. Looking or swinging? He tried to check his swing, but I'm pretty sure the I'm going to say that was a looking strikeout. Yeah. Definitely had the plate. I thought that one was going to be off the plate. Lands the curveball, though. Nice pitch by Short. You either want to throw that curveball there, like the first one was, or okay. We'll get it in the dirt. Um. Undisclosed injury on the previous play. I don't like this. Uh, let's do gets then. Dominguez is injured. Uh, I don't know why they still have him as an option on the bench. So we'll go with Bobby Getz here. Bobby He'll Getz take over an 0-2 count. Getz has been fantastic for us. 293 average. He's had a couple clutch hits on stream. Really hope Cook isn't out for too long. Wow, and Getz gets a knock. Let's go! It's a 1 2 double down the line. Brenner doesn't have the arm to throw him out, and he's easily into second base. One out double from Bobby Getz. A pinch hit one out double there. Love it. Here's Aguilera. Oh, no! How am I? I should not be late on 90. I should never be late on 90. That's bad. That was a 90 mile per hour sinker too. There it is. This one's in the gap though. So that'll be a single. Am I gonna get in third? Yes. <laughs> Appreciate you up. Let's go. That should have easily been an out. Wow. All right. So back to back, one out hits here. I got Chuck Souza up. Tying run is at third base. I actually should think about the bullpen now too. Let's do Clark Young. It's 9-1-2 and two for them. Clark Young has a changeup, so he'll be fine against left-handers. Quick short, and then Lee. That's going to be the move, though. They scored in the top half of the six. We scored once, and then looking for more here in the bottom half. Again, thanks for being here. Nice clutch situation coming up right now. Chuck Souza, one out, runner on third base. Didn't like that pitch. Thought it was going to keep going down. <laughs> Two strikes for Souza. I'm going to contact swing here. Just try to get one in play. Just off the plate. All right, 2-2. Two -two. He's thrown 22 pitches this inning. It's his second inning out of the bullpen. You'd think that they're thinking about someone else. Next. Oh, nice swing at that. Okay. Here's Mesoraco. He had our first hit. And I should have swung at that. All right. Yeah, that's middle middle. That was a bad pitch to take. And he falls 
Taking pitches like that is going to be the reason why I lose games like this. <clears throat> Here's the Owen two. Hit toward the right. Side. Oh, and that one gets through. <laughs> Let's go, Messerocco with a huge hit. So we tie it here in the sixth. Yeah, the adding nicknames again. They don't have the audio for it. Um, but yeah, there, I've added uh, a number of guys with nicknames uh, with when they already have the audio built in. But yeah, I like what you got there. Like Sunny Day, that's like a reference to Shun Sunny Gray almost, or Shorty Long, Pokey Rabbit. Yeah, no, I'm into it. Might steal one of those. Um, who do I want here? Probably Riddle. Yeah, again, because Dominguez, I think, said that he was hurt before. So here's Riddle. Another chance to add on here. They put in a lefty. It's Nick Phelps. He's kind of got that uh, almost the Josh Hader role, or at least like when Hader first came up. That was kind of the mold that I, that I made him from. Big strikeouts, lots of walks, not much for control. And then uh, and then you can probably go a couple innings. His stamina is not great because I nerfed it, but... Again, like kind of a Josh Hader type. High in the air he's going to get a first pitch out because I decided to swing at that. Oh, well, you said they do have the audio for that. Okay. Yeah, I like that. I might. I might take those. Uh <laughs> Here's Bobby Getz. We'll play left. I'm actually going to have Getz play right. So we'll do that real fast. Getz is going to go to the right right field, I mean, so Aguilera can play as primary. So we got 8, 9, and 1, so quick first. And then they did a double switch, I believe. Yeah, Cole, it's been a great game so far. Again, I said it earlier, I'd really like to have every game be a one-run game, tight game like this, where we're tied entering the seventh inning. That's that's all you can ask for, right? Oh, they didn't do a double switch. Okay, so here's Joseph Bright. Bright is a failed prospect for the Reds. I was trying to make him, uh, him be a... Know, someone who's an impact bat, but he's got a B potential, only 72 overall. He he gets better in a franchise. Here, I'll show his hot zones too. He gets better in a franchise, but his numbers are terrible. Like his career stats are real bad. And then he's only only a second baseman, shortstop. Um, so you can hold on him if you want, but he's, he doesn't really seem to be much, at least in the first maybe two sometimes even three years, and then he'll blow up because he's got to be potential. So he's just got to do well in the minors or well off your bench, and he's not doing well off the Reds' bench right now. <clears throat> he's just a prototypical second baseman, good defense, some contact, almost no power. And like I said, failed prospect from these Reds. Turns into something, but they usually give up on him before he does. <clears throat> it's an 0-2 count. We're going to go slider off the plate. Oh, and that's not where I wanted it. If you miss the meter badly, it's going to just wind up being a strike. It's cool, so that's two quick outs. Young could probably go another one then. He's only throwing five pitches to three batters. I like Young more of the bullpen than I thought I was going to. I hadn't used him until this franchise, actually. Got that splitter and a changeup. That's nice. That was nowhere near the strike zone. <clears throat> nice play over there by Souza. Let's go. Yeah, Cole. Yeah, they dump him because he he just he loses his uh, his options. So once you're done with the option years, you become expendable if you're not a bench option. And he's not a starter. He's not really much of a bench option. Talking about Joseph Bright still. 
Um, so he usually, if he does turn into anything, it's not as a red. <laughs> and that's another reason why I like to edit options, because you can speed up that process. If I give him one option or no options, then he's going to have to change uh, teams sooner. <clears throat> Yeah, they do. They change. Uh, they change based off of the actual performance. So um, it depends on a couple factors, but for the most part, you want to like hold on, like have your minor leaguers in Double A, and have them do well in Double A before you move them up to Triple A. Really pay attention to it. And it seems like like contact prospects, like high contact prospects or high like vision or discipline prospects. Uh, tend to progress faster than your high defense prospects just because they're doing well offensively and that's what um, Sony San Diego had it like had be their big development thing and then of course coaching's a, a big thing on top of that as well if you have good coaching then that's going to be uh, more important than their actual um, performances and this is Fujita gone <laughs> let's go All this dude does is hit home runs. A solo shot here to left, number 13 for him on the year as they take the lead. Which outfielder are you talking about there? Huge home run from Fujita. Look at this. This is a bullet. That's just he just won 110. All right. Had to take a screenshot of that one. Hopefully it worked. Oh, Brenner, yeah, the left fielder for the Reds. Yeah, Brenner. Yeah, I'll show that real fast then. I don't think I touched Brenner in the most recent update. He's always had just a decent face. There we go. And that's Evan Brenner. He's a center fielder um, for the Reds, and they're playing him in left today. So we're up now for the first time in this game. Big home run from Elijah Fujita here in the bottom of the seventh inning. I got to think about a new pitcher in the eighth now. Um, so who would that be? I kind of want to get to a lefty again. So Rivas, Rivas, I'd want a righty against him, and then I'd want a lefty later on. Yeah, correct, correct, Ramjet. Yeah, if if they just perform well, they'll. The development really, uh, really uh, gets a. Uh, what am I trying to say? The development really uh, gets a. Uh, you know, an upgrade right there. You'll see. I think they do it in in, uh, in multiples of three. So if you have like a good month, his potential will go up three ticks. So if he starts at an eighty, it'll be an eighty-three. So it'll still say B in that example. But he'll go up to 83. Yeah, he'll get a boost. Yeah, exactly. Um, thank you for <laughs> uh, for that. Um, but yeah, they usually get like an extra if they perform well, and that's why you see like the green arrows next to overalls or potentials. Green arrows pointing up right next to them. The red arrows pointing down if they're doing poorly. But yeah, performance uh, should have more of an impact than it does. But it does have an impact now. It already does. <clears throat> and then your in-game performance uh, has an impact on that as well because your in-game performance, if you do well, I don't know, like what I'm doing is I'm playing one every three games. So if my in-game performance is good, then um, it'll uh, it'll pro like propel them into doing better when you're simulating if they get like a, like a hot... Um, the hot like icon. So now to the plate, Mason Franklin. Owen won the count. Got him to go after that. Oh, we're in a quick hold, Owen two. Yeah, and that's another thing on my wish list is just to have 
have a performance have more of an impact on potential because potential has an impact on performance rather than performance having an impact on potential have it be a little more volatile have have like a prospect who's having a really good month turn into a big trade chip kind of thing and then if he regresses back down then his potential goes back down instead of having it you know stay up but then he's just been hot that year so that's why other teams want him there's a rebound home run again yeah exactly yeah if you yeah if you perform poorly then your team's gonna take a hit like that like we're saying yeah first delivery to him on the way and he lays off there so I try to I try to find a zone between like doing well in the game and having it be challenging and then that's the most rewarding when your players actually develop skyed in the air to straight away left left fielder giving chase Easily gets to that one. All right, that's the first out in the eighth. Now, Lumpkin and Fortenberry are both worse against left-handed pitching, so I think I'm going to pull it in Zinter. And they're both ready. I got Hendricks ready as well, but Zinter's going to come in now. And yeah, like you can see on the bottom, Lumpkin's worse against lefties. Fortenberry's worse against lefties. Taylor's a little bit better against lefties. So hopefully we get the first two, and then if Taylor bats, he's going to bat against the lefty with the runner on. We're up one run. Here's Tom Zinter. Been good on the season. <laughs> yeah, Ramjet, that's an, always an option. And again, if you're enjoying the game, doesn't matter what difficulty you're playing it on. That's all that matters. Just play the game. Have some fun. No one's shaming you for playing on rookie. No one's shaming you for playing on veteran. There's no problem with any skill level that you're on. I happen to be on Hall of Fame, mentioned that before. I do play some online as well, and that's usually on All-Star, so Hall of Fame is a little more difficult um, to compensate for the CPU being extremely stupid. So curveball down. Do a curveball again. Yeah, wow, he didn't go after that one either. Okay. This is a cutter up and in. One of my favorite pitches to throw. Missed the spot. Try it again. Not a chance. All right, let's try changing it. Oh, come on now. I'm really not missing by a lot. Well, actually, I am. Uh, eight pitches so far, they said that. Right, okay, yeah, there we go. All-star's still difficult, uh, Ramjet. Um, no shame, again, in any uh, difficulty. Again, he sends it out of play. And then, yeah, of course, you got to tweak the sliders a little bit. Just make it feel how you want it to feel. Another one sent by. Yeah, I'm, I've never found a sweet spot. It's always, it's always adjusting. It's always figuring something else out. Trying to, you know, I don't know if it's like fielder speed, so I want more hits in the outfield kind of thing, or if you want more errors. I don't, I don't even know. But I seem to want to adjust it all the time, too. So that wasn't great. That was a walk. An 11 pitch walk, too. This is not good. Again, not in love with this bullpen. Two strikes, though. <clears throat> we'll go slider with two strikes, right? I don't think Lump is going to go. He's the time one, so I don't think so. <clears throat> big strike out there. Big, big strike out. Probably need a ball in the 
a gap to give him a chance. Stepping in now, Max Taylor. So actually, for a lot of my last franchise, I was pitching on Legend and I was hitting on Hall of Fame. Uh, my hitting seems to be a little worse than my pitching in general. So that's always an idea as well. If you just want to, if you want to pitch on Legend and then hit on Rookie, and then you just always have these higher scoring games, something like that, some combination that might help you find your sweet spot. Or any variation of that, of course. Hopefully they don't send Lumpkin home. Are they doing it? No, they're holding them. Okay. So I could put in a righty here if I want to. It depends on who they have hitting. Taylor with a double with his 21st. That's another face I redid was Max Taylor's. Show him real quick. This is Evan Brenner. I'm going to put in a righty. Taylor's face real fast. Like I said, I redid a bunch of faces. Max Taylor was one of them. There it is. And he's got one of the more unique stances. That's uh, Lonnie Chisenhall's stance. If you remember him from the Indians, and the, I believe it was with the Pirates for a year as well. There you go. This is Max Taylor. Cool. All right, and I'm going to put in a righty. Here comes Jordan Hendricks. I'm going to warm up Stevenson with Jordan Hendricks for probably two, one batter, maybe two batters if it has to get that far. But um, even Brenner is the opponent here. Again, thanks for joining me. This is Bacon's fictional roster. I am Bacon. Yeah, hit on All Star and then pitch on Hall of Fame. I like that too. Again, like. That works. Just find your feel, find what works for you, find how you have fun, and just uh, roll with it. So. No way. Come on, get to that, Mez Rocco. Oh, it's... I should have dove, at least. I thought he was going to get to it. Oh, that really sucks. I really thought Mets Rocco would catch that. So Zinter. No, I still don't have. Okay. Um, so Zinter gives up those two runs, and then Hendricks is the one who actually gives up the hit that results in the runs. <laughs> Not good. Not a good inning. I gotta figure out who's gonna pitch the ninth now too. Or to show one one mode difficulty? What do you mean? Did they change that? Is there only one difficulty for the? Oh my gosh! I haven't played any road to the show this year, so I'm not entirely sure what you're talking about. Terrible. Well, Stevenson's not coming anymore, so uh, let's figure out. Probably do Dunning for an inning. Yeah, yeah, Cole. The uh, the eighth inning's been rough here. And I said it before, yeah, the bullpen isn't uh, my favorite here in Atlanta, nor nor Cleveland. And it's quickly oh, you have to pick one difficulty, you mean, yeah. Right. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he strikes there we go. Why couldn't you have done that before? <sighs> now we're down two. We got five, six, and seven coming up here in the eighth inning. Down two runs. Miles 
<clears throat> All right, so here's, this is Miles Knightley pitching, four-seam slider and a two-seam. No stamina. That's fantastic. He does throw hard, though. Um, I'll have Getz, Aguilera, and Souza. Getz is much better against lefty, so I like that. Right, so you can't mix hit and pitch difficulties. Okay. That shouldn't matter too much. You only play one side of the ball in, in uh, Road to the Show. Right? Unless you're trying to be a good hitting pitcher. Look at this. Speaking of good hitting, Getz is an unbelievable hitter. Seriously, he gets knocks all the time. Especially against the lefties. Let's go. Ninth double. Definitely want to keep him for next year. Uh, again, if you're looking for him on the new roster, he's actually a free agent to start. Uh, so I signed him after I had a couple injuries and uh, needed a new second baseman. So here's Aguilera. He's the tying run. Knightley just throws gas, so just try to hope for a fastball in the middle again. That's a slider. Isn't going to work, is it? Oh, come on, Brenner. You got to at least try, right? There we go. The tie run is still at... Uh, we're still on... We're still at the plate. I mean, tie run is still at the plate. Yeah, I mentioned it before. There's no COVID in Bacon's fictional roster. So that, uh, that uh, instance didn't happen. This entire pandemic was avoided in Bacon's fictional roster. Not gonna say how or why, but uh, there is no such thing as COVID in Vegas Fiction roster. One, Souza. Souza's 0 for three. So we need a rebuttal of their three runs from the top half. This is at least going to be a sack fly, right? That's deep enough. Yes, sir, that's definitely deep enough. Catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. Not in time as the run scores and the lead is trimmed to one. <sighs> Not bad, Souza. So we'll take it. Only down a run now. Again, we just needed to do something. Now batting Julio Nasaraco. He came through. Yep. Yeah. Uh, decreasing the deficit is really what we were just trying to do there. That's it. Um, if we can get another one, that'd be fantastic. As Rocco doesn't do much against lefties, we'll probably just take here, and then Hendricks is next. Um, let's see, I'm going to take this one and then what? <laughs> 97 on the fastball. Again, thanks for joining me for this one. I'll probably be playing another game later tonight. Aiken's fictional roster. 2-2 two -two with Mazzarocco. He's already got two hits today. In his third year. Oh! A dive and he brings it in. Of course, it's the guy I traded too, right? How does this happen? <clears throat> yeah, Rob, very upset about it. Uh, we're gonna do. I'm gonna put Dunning in right now. Dunning's been a starter and a reliever for me. Not necessarily a swing man, just a just a long reliever. He's decent, not great, but decent. I think he's got a high C potential. So he does turn into something soon, but not right away. And he's not he's not really in the major league plans for most teams. I just have a bunch of injuries. Left-handed here. 
deeply hit fly ball off to the left side. And that's in there. Base hit. Love the ability to push that ball the other way. All right. Nice knock to the opposite field. That's a switch hitter's delight. The ability to use all parts. Oh, and then a hit and run. Oh, my gosh. Rivas is getting, and I can't even play defense apparently. Okay. Well, Cole, the wheels have completely fallen off now. That's bad. That was bad defense. That's exactly what you want from a guy in a game when you're leading by one run. He gets a chance to drive a guy in, and he promptly delivers with an well, I hope you guys were here for the first six innings because the last three haven't been any good. Oh, and you're not even going to get to that. This will be another run. All right. Yeah, so putting in Dunning was a bad idea, I guess, since he hasn't gotten it out yet. Or did get it out. He got a first pitch out. That's what that was, yeah. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Oh, he leaves that one right over the plate as this is in high and deep out to right center field. And it is gone. A home run. At least we won't have to face their closer now. They're not putting him in, in a five run game. But yeah, the, the wheels are completely off at this one. Reed Fortbear with his seventh home run. Absolutely. Launched line drive right there, right center. Not going to win many games if you give up seven runs in the last two innings. Well, the things I know, that's one of the things I know the best. Um, not a good ninth inning, not a good eighth inning, not a good decision to put Dunning in. This lineup has a chance to knock this guy right out of the game. Four runs in the inning, and they smell blood. Boy, Giro, you hit the nail right on the head right now. This is a team that can score some runs. They have a pitcher that's reeling right now. They need to knock him out and knock him out. ASP. Oh, my gosh, and that guy goes through my shortstop. Okay. This is not my inning, I guess. Got a ground ball past my second baseman. Now ground ball past my shortstop. They're going to give him a hit for that, too? That was an error. This is your last hitter right here, buddy. Probably too long of a leash anyways, but we were down entering the inning, and now we're down more. Runner's got three hits. Got to do something to stop this guy, right? Up in this situation, I gotta believe the manager was hoping for way more than this. Three balls and a strike to the Reds' left fielder. In there, and it's full three and two. I think it's a real possibility that they put that. That's not the first one. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Fouled away. Four runs here in this half inning. Wow, this dude really comes in here. What's the saying? When you find yourself in a hole, here's Junior Richard. I just don't want them to say Richard. They always say Richard. All right, and here comes Burke now. And I think I just want anyone else put him in right now. So yeah, here's Burke. You gotta throw strikes, otherwise you're gonna have the same fee here, buddy. Oh my goodness. Rich is a good fourth outfielder here. I wouldn't exactly have him start for the Reds either, right field primarily. Really good hitter against lefties. All right. Thanks again for anyone watching. At least you're watching me get my butt kicked here today.
not a good last couple innings. I believe that's 10 runs now just in two innings. Yeah, if there was any doubt that I was playing on Hall of Fame, you should uh, you should know now that this is Hall of Fame. It's not forgiving when you miss. Let's see who makes the play. Stepping up now, Angel Perez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Yeah, Perez led off this inning. Line to the right side. He's got one of my favorite stances in the in the roster, actually. It's Odubel Herrera's, and then I adjusted it a little bit. So uh, he's got his uh, bicep directly in front of his face. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to work. And uh, he somehow still hits like this, just like that, even with the bat going through his head. But, uh, yeah, one of my favorite stances in the roster It's Angel Perez of the Reds. Big leg kick, two-handed follow-through. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And he gets a knock. All right. This inning really is terrible. Oh, and he's going to second, though. Should get an out on that, right? Yes, sir. That'll end it. But a big inning here is seven runs across the plate, and this lead grows even wider. So seven runs in that inning, and we gave up, uh, what was it, three in the eighth? So that's ten just in these two frames. Not good. Not good thing. And then they still put in their closer. This is Donnie Ryan. I'm guessing he's the only guy they have left then. Speaking of only guy that we have left. Yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> We'll, we'll see how this how this rally goes right here. Everybody better be wearing their rally caps. Uh, Donnie Ryan, four-seam curveball slider. He is their closer. They do have Adam Ferguson and Bart Lawrence up. And actually, Lawrence took over the closer role. So uh, let's see what we do, can do against Donnie Ryan. We got 9-1-2 here. Starting off with my backup catcher. 9-1 and then 2. And here's a 96. Average, not quite not great. Again, thanks for joining me today. I will be uh, on again later tonight. At least that's the plan. So look for that notification later tonight. That'll be a Spiders game. I mentioned it before. It's the Spiders versus the Royals. Caleb, you better tell your grandkids about this comeback. This 1-2-3 inning here in the ninth. <clears throat> the pitch. Yeah, you're not going to win many games when you give up 13 runs. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. So, we'll see what he throws on the next pitch. Still hoping that Gavin Cook's injury isn't too bad. He left this game. It's just off the plate. That turns out to be a good take on that front door breaking ball, but you have to wonder if that pitch buckled him at all. That was really close to clipping the inside corner. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Popped him up. And a pop-up. Great start. And he hauls it in for the Lumpkin easily gets lead. there. The batter, the center fielder, J.C. <laughs> Here we go with J.C. Ray. He's 0 for 4. I'm not doing great with Ray on stream. Again, I haven't had him on my team before, so this is the first time. Still figuring out how to hit with him. I don't generally, or I actually do generally hit well with high contact guys. It's a high vision, high discipline. So you, you'd think that this would be the guy that I'd hit well with. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. You got it. Anyone hits well with, right? We're down eight here in the ninth. Not looking great for us. Now here's the my Atlanta home debut. And he fouls this one off. And I got us at least swing at strikes, huh? The one two. Two 
Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. Swing and a looper to left. Is that one dropping? Oh, it is. JC Ray with a knock. We'll take it. Doesn't matter when you get your hits, as long as you get them. He was Fujita, one of four. His hit was a home run, that line drive bullet. That's the start of it, right? That's the start of this comeback. That single just now. Check swing, no swing, says the home putt umpire, ball two. Okay, 2-0, -oh. give me a fastball. Let me do something here. Oh! Was I early? I was! Look at this, my timing is just garbage today. Late on 90 earlier, now I'm early on 95. Nowhere near a slider there. PCI was good, just not a good, not good timing. <clears throat> and that's a strikeout. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Here's Parker, final out. So now to the plate, Chase Parker. Not a good one. Away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch, <clears> two and one. And he'll be trying to replicate that home run swing that he took back in inning number six. And this oh. is swung on and missed. So now and now it's 0-2 to Parker. Their final strike tonight. Not good. PCI was not in a good spot. As Timing was good. Final strike. Here it comes. Now a curveball ripped down the left field line. That's a fair ball. We're not going home yet. The relay, and he is in there. Ooh, Hall of Fame or All Madden? Which one's harder? I think All Madden's harder, mostly because I'm too scared to play on All Madden still. Um, I know people who do. I know. Uh, I think uh, so. Legends actually the most difficult. Uh, difficulty on the show and I still think that all men all men just punishes you like for no reason at all um, And ratings ratings seem to really matter. They can still do better with ratings than men But uh, but yeah, I'd say all men is harder than Hall of Fame <clears throat> Here's Franklin he's 0 for 2, but he's been on base twice Cool. Two and oh pitch. Maybe they're just pitching around him. They are. Yeah, I also haven't played Madden much in the last five years. So, I mean, I, I bet I'd be better now than I was a while ago, but still, I, I don't really want to play on all Madden or. In general, play Madden at all. That one's in there, three and one. Yeah, I know you played rookie. Did you, you played on the Wii too, didn't you, Caleb? Here's a three-one. Ah, that was ball four. You're right. I should have just taken right there, Troy. Not a good pitch to swing at. And that's also ball four. Let's go. Umpire wants to stick around. <laughs> Okay, GameCube, Caleb, got it, okay. And then you can play your Madden GameCube games on your Wii, though. Yeah, I was always PlayStation. PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3. I uh, didn't really play any Madden on PlayStation 4, but a lot of, uh, a lot of 06, 07, um, and then 09 on PlayStation 2. He's Getz, he's 2 for 2. Need a knock to keep this one going, or at least get on base. We made Brian throw a bunch of pitches. Bases are loaded here, two down.
Ooh, not a good one. Oh, come on. They should redo check swings entirely. Especially for online. That's just off the plate. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Glad I at least made him throw a bunch of pitches. This is number 29. Love to get runs out of this, though. Bases loaded, two outs here in the ninth. Here's the one and two delivery. And that's the ball game. All right, 13 to 5 is the final of this one. I'm now 4 and 3 on stream. Feels good to dominate a game like that. 13 to 5 at the end of all the action. Cincinnati came through late, taking the lead in the eighth to secure the victory. Tyrone. Yeah, bad eighth and ninth innings. Uh, bullpen really, uh, really decided to uh, give it away here. But it's all right. And Zinter wasn't necessarily bad. I didn't. I don't think it was a bad decision to put him in. Um, yeah, everyone out of the bullpen except for Young gave up runs. Zinter two, Hendricks one, Dunning had the six. The ninth inning was just a waste. Especially, he had a decent ERA coming in, 388 coming in, and now it's a 415. Not ideal. We did get two home runs today, though, and then Getz had two knocks, both doubles. Um, who's my player of the game here? Yeah, Poole is fantastic compared to the bullpen. Maybe you need Jasper for the bullpen, then. Uh, I'm going to give um, Elijah Fujita the player of the game. He's my personal player of the game. There's my rewards. See how far I am in the 11th inning. Cook is going to be fine. He just has a blister, apparently. Okay. <clears throat> Ramjet, welcome back. We're just about to sign off. Uh, but, uh, yeah, March to October. That's another mode I don't really touch. Um, March to October is frustrating because I can't edit anything i can't use my rosters in it and uh it's again yeah you're, you're right about it being locked on difficulty too uh but i can't use my roster there so i don't uh generally uh play that mode just setting up the next game all set there <laughs> no ran that no you're not responsible for the loss in any way no one here who answers questions is responsible for any losses um I'd rather be talking than sit here in the quiet and try to be focusing on focusing on losing by eight runs. <laughs> but uh, here we are. I got the next game set up right now. It's going to be Enrique Fernandez for the Royals pitching in Cleveland against Jonathan Gore. Gore is one of our new pitchers on the roster. Here's his Mitch or pitch mix: four seam knuckle curve, two seam, and a cutter. And then, yeah, it's mostly, it's going to be the knuckle curve doesn't have as much control as the rest of them. 60s for the rest. Walking and chewing gum at the same time is difficult. Go ahead, clip that. And here's the delivery for Gore. And again, we'll see you tonight. I'll plan on streaming later tonight. I'll send a tweet out before I do. But uh, Bacon After Dark starts tonight. Thanks for being here today. Look for that notification.